Welcome everyone to my first Civil War II live action report, or LAV, nice pun there, <laughs> um, of Civil War II. And basically what this is, is going to be a gameplay video of Civil War II. I'm going to show you guys uh, basically what we're going to do in this video is discuss strategy. I'm going to pick a side here, whether I'm going to go with Union or Confederate. Um, and basically, this is the strategy and see if it works and see if I can beat this game as one of the two um, countries in this game here. So we're going to launch a new game, start something brand new. And I'm thinking of this one, but I'm actually probably going to go to this one because between the April and July, really nothing happens. I mean, you just take Fort Sumter and that's basically about it. So I'm going to start with this one. And I don't know if I should go with the United States of America or Confederate States of America, but I kind of want to play Lee and Jackson, so I'm probably going to go with the Confederate States. So it's a two-theater campaign. It's about 107 turns. Um, chances are I might not go 107 turns. <laughs> it's going to be a, basically a four-part video, so I'm going to try to get all those turns in there, but if I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. I might not even wait to the end of the game and, you know, say, oh, I'm a winner or I'm a loser, whatever it may be. Uh, I'm going to basically uh, see if, like, if I took Washington, New York City, and Philadelphia, and the game, game still says I didn't win, I'm pretty much going to end it there because, obviously, I won at that point. <laughs> so let's start. All right, so I usually go with political states. Um, I kind of sometimes like this, but I like this much easier to see where I am. Obviously, Virginia, West Virginia. You got Maryland here. And Pennsylvania. Gettysburg, nice. Okay, cool. So I got Magruder here, and he has... Oh, how do I... Alright, he has 1,200 men. And I got the main army of the Potomac here. And they have... Oof, 19,000 men. Can I move them? Yes, I can. Good. They're not locked. Very good. Very, very good. Floyd's force here. 4,500 men. I'm actually going to have these guys move up here and kind of unite. And then what we're going to do is going to probably attack Morgantown here. Even though I can attack it now because I think this guy has power 156 to power 75. I can probably attack it now. I don't think, can he do it? No, you can't. So my overall strategy in this game is I'm playing both theaters, but I mean, obviously the Eastern theater is going to be a little bit more important uh, for the time being. Um, I have basically a couple of main armies. I have one in uh, Manassas here. There we go. One here, I'm going to... How many troops does he have? I'll have about like 8,000 men. So what I'm going to do here is... Oh, I have another army here. I have Johnston's army that has 7,400 men. These guys are definitely going to go after Harper, Harper's Ferry right now. Going to go on the offensive and take West Virginia. Might as well take Harper's Ferry. So, I know I should probably do a defensive campaign. Obviously, it's probably like the best option. Unfortunately, I got a little bit of a lead in me. So probably I'm going to go on the offensive. I, I I think if I whip the Union Army, this army here, which is huge, if I whip them, I can destroy this army and I can go after Washington, Baltimore. I'm probably going to move north after that. Where's Philadelphia? Yeah, there we go. Probably go here. Then there's an army probably to Harrisburg and then Philly. Jersey City and probably New York. So I'm probably going to do something like that. Try to take out all the major cities. And at that point, by the time I hit New York, they'll probably be done. That's my overall plan. I, I want to do an invasion of the North and kind of put the Union down to its knees and hit them hard, hit them fast. If I can't attain a victory quickly, what I'm going to do is probably resort to the defensive. Obviously, by 1862... If I haven't destroyed the Union Army, I'm just going to... And if they have a numerical superiority to uh, numerical superiority by then, I'm probably just going to resort to defense at that point. Primarily because I can't destroy these armies. It's all I have. 
and eventually the union is going to have more money, build more troops. So I'm hoping to hit them, hit them hard and fast, kind of get them out of the game really quick early in the game. And I'm hoping that does it. In the Western theater, what I'm going to try to do is try to break down the union as quick as po uh, as hard as possible. So I'm going to start mobilizing my forces here and try to invade Kentucky. And then eventually what I would love to do is to develop an army in this area here, a massive army, maybe 30, 40,000 men, and head north from try to take Kentucky and then move north and try to go to Annapolis and basically break up these railroads here and just really create some havoc in the Union interior. If I can do that, I could probably really do some damage to the Union cause, get the war out of the South and into these areas so they can um, basically destroy my towns here and do a, do a scorched or, or earth policy, kind of what um, Sherman did. So that's my, that's my kind of goal, to get the war out of the South. All right, so he has 9,400 men, and this is Zalakafer. And how many troops are here? And then the deep west here, I'm just probably going to do a holding action. If I can, I'll try to invade Missouri, try to keep the Union occupied here. But my main thing is the eastern theater, some western theater action, and just hold in the extreme west. And that's basically it. Again, if I get... If they have a lot more troops than me, obviously I'm going to gonna go on the defensive at that point. You're gonna go up here. Jeez, there's no railroads? Oh, there's only one. Wow. That's really bad. So these towns are not even in the wow. So he's gonna hold at Nashville. I'm gonna have these guys probably go to Fort Henry. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna Try to consolidate all my forces here. Can't even use that guy. Polk, I'm gonna move to Nashville. I should probably have him there, but I wanna develop a massive army, so I'm gonna have him move over there. I have local militia here that I can hold. He'll be in charge of uh, McCullochock. <laughs> probably didn't say that right. <laughs> McCulloch. There we go. That sounds right is going to hold the extreme western theater here. And he has 4,300 men, and he, he can be assisted by these guys, about 1,400. So he's going to hold my extreme western theater, just in case the Union doesn't come down into Texas and um, Louisiana and uh, Arkansas. But these are my key states. Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. And Tennessee, those are my key states here. What I also want to do here is decision mode, okay. Some loyalty loss, I don't want to do that. Develop territory, what is this going to give me? Eh, I don't care about this too much. I really need more troops. Demonstration, I really don't care about that. Clearing, nah, I really don't care. Requisitions, what is this going to do? Yeah. I wonder if you could build uh, railroads, because that, that's going to really help me. I should build defensive works in Richmond. How much this is? This cost uh, one church. All right, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna build entrenchments works there just in case. Partisans, copperheads, no. So it's basically the decision I'm gonna do right now. Strategic atlas, and then we're going to develop some units here. Virginia, and then I'm gonna build, develop some 
Wow, that's it? That's all I can afford? Are you kidding me? Okay, no, I can still buy more. Oh, I should be looking at this. Enforce pool and combat power. I should be looking at that. I was just putting anybody there. So obviously these guys are the best. The best of the best. So I'm going to actually hold on to these guys. 202 power. Ooh, that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to form another regiment in Nashville. They costed a lot of money, but... Yeah, they costed a lot of money. I should have probably went for lower... Nah. Either way, I got two brigades being formed. Two regiments or two brigades? I think it's a brigade. Yeah, brigade. Good. Should be a couple of thousand men. So I did those actions. Let's go to Strategic Atlas. I don't think I have too much. I kind of want to get more money. It's going to cost 25 victory points. I don't want to do that. Raise taxes. I guess probably 200, so 230, 235 if I do this, but it's going to cost two morale. Alright, I don't want to do anything right now. I guess two brigades is fine by now. So, that's what we're going to do. I think we're good here. I don't think nothing really happened. So we're going to end the turn. Oh, you know what? There's a force here. Forgot about them. Oh crap. Can I just move them? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna actually have him move by rail. I need him in Richmond. He's gonna be part of the Richmond army. It'll be 17 days, that's fine. I don't think I have any more forces. I think that was the only force that I really have. There's nobody else. Yeah, that's about it. All right, so we're going to end the turn. Oh, I got some other forces here. Jeez, I got a lot of Virginian. Not going to complain at all. 4,300 men. I'm actually going to leave these forces here. You're going to go here, though. Take 26 days, but that's fine. Just so as I have a force in Norfolk, because I have a feeling... It, in every game I play, the Union always tries to take Norfolk. And the last thing I want to have them do is take anything here. Oh, wow, they actually got... That's why he's there. All right, you can actually chill there then. Because there's actually a force in this Monroe. It's a pretty big force, too. So they're just going to chill there. All right, that's about it. So I'm going to begin my first turn. I was 13 minutes. There's no way I'm going to get 107. <laughs> I guess it's the first turn. is usually the hardest, you know. I have people on Manassas. They're going to hold there. I have Johnson's force in, it's close to Winchester, he's going to move to Harper's Ferry in a minute. I don't think the Union is going to do anything. They're just forming up their armies, so I, I think they're kind of in limbo at this point. Oh, he's moving some forces to intercept John uh, to intercept my intercept Johnston. It looks like. I think he moved some forces to Frederickstown. The South Carolina force already at the border of uh, North Carolina and Virginia. Oh, dang it! They're sieging me in New Madrid. I have to move my force from Little Rock. All right. So before, actually, you know what? We'll do that right now. It's gonna take a while to get there, though.
Why isn't he moving? Oh, he's locked. Damn it. So, what's the point of a locked unit? I don't understand that. I put that on my review. I was just like, I don't understand locked units. I really don't. Ooh, I got a big force here. 6,000 men. All right, and they got militia there. It's beautiful. So, offensive time. I got nothing there. I'm going to move your force here and kind of cut them off at St. Louis. Take you 30 days to get there. That's fine. I got nobody here. That's fine. A little rock unit will help me out there. Corinth. Huzzah. Norfolk guns. Naval engineers. I even have the CSS Virginia. So I'm probably going to take out and try to control this harbor here. Can you not? No, I guess you can't even come out of a port. Where did my force go here? Oh, they're in the town. Okay, cool. Wow, my Carolina troops were really got all the way to Petersburg. I'll be there in two days. I love the railroads, man. I can't tell you how awesome railroads are in this game. They are a life saver. I have a brigade that I'm actually going to send. i got to figure out how the uh, command system works in this game. I don't know if this guy's good or not. Seniority 82, 93. Three one one, I guess that's good. I have no idea what three one one means. I guess that's good. I, I have no idea. I guess they're all three one one. So I'm gonna have him go here. Take command of that, just in case I need these forces. These guys are still on their way. Yusa have now 21,000 men. And he sent a huge force. Power is 680, so I guess it's probably 14,000 men, I guess. And we have Harper's Ferry now. So I'm going to go on the defensive here. Hold Harbor's Ferry. I'm not going to move out to attack the Army of the Potomac because what I would like to do is destroy this army right here. The only problem is this force is actually half my size, about 10,000 men, it looks like. I have numerical superiority now, so I have to make key decisions. This is the point where you have to utilize your assets before the enemy can grow his. You know, honestly, the Union is basically the sleeping dragon at this point, right? And I have to hit them hard right now and just basically destroy their their ability to produce those troops. Just basically bring them and break them right now. Because if I have this go on into 1862, I'm looking at brigade Union brigades of the yin yang. So if I destroy their armies now and have full access to their cities, I can win the game quickly. The question is, how? I can move him over inland here. The only problem is there's a river. What well, maybe if I move him into Maryland here? get between him and him so he can't reinforce that might be really good that's what i'll do i'll move his force here actually i can't have you go through there because they're gonna and go that way good so 16 days he'll be in montgomery still on the other side of the river here but i'll be between him and him this way i can have his force cross over 
probably into chambers here. And then I'll probably cross over and attack him from the east. He'll attack from the west and destroy this army. If I can do that, we'll turn around, destroy his army, and eventually just move over and uh, take out Washington. Oh, look, it's uh, Winfield Scott. Three-star general. Three-star general? Yeah. All right, so I think those are all the f actions for this theater. I'm still waiting on that guy. These guys are still chilling. He's holding. Hold at all costs, dude. See, that's the thing. I can't even send any troops to reinforce. Cavalry. I'm actually going to have the cavalry go here. Take out this Union cavalry. 300 men. I hope they can do it. Okay. I think that's about it. I have 77 bucks, so there's no way I'm going to be able to get much. Oh man, he has transports there. That means he might be ferrying some troops. <clears throat> Ooh, where was this? It was a steel man. I lost 61 men. They don't lose anybody, my man. I need those forces unlocked so I can re reinforce that guy. Ooh, I think that was Sherman. What's going on here? Oh, he moved his force north. That was a stupid move. I like the music in this game. Probably at the end of this turn, I'm going to try to form another brigade. He's coming at my army? Is he at his mind? He really is coming at me. That's kind of weird. Half my force, he, he attacked me. I got a Confederate victory out of it. General Line, you're really bad. <laughs> you had half the force and you were on the offensive. Logic. Oh, I took more losses though. Son of a gun. I guess that was good. I took double the losses. <laughs> Is he trying to go after Jefferson City? Wow, he, they're pulling troops right into Vance, Missouri. It's flooding them in.
All right, late August. Oh man, he has two regular. Uh, I'm not gonna really worry about these guys here. Just got a lot of troops, man. I think this is their major army right here. So what I'm gonna do is I have 8,600 men. He has 94 power. I have 231 offensive time. Sixteen days to cross that Dangon River, huh? All right. So what I'm gonna do is, dude, you're gonna go on the assault. Oh, he can't go on the assault posture, really. You're gonna cancel your order across that river. Okay, change it down now. You're gonna go here. It's gonna take twenty-four days to cross that bloody river. This guy's not even doing anything. The thing I'm worried about, though. Mahoney's Brigade. I wish I could rename. Okay, I'm gonna put these guys in here. Can't really do anything with them, they're locked. No, I think I'm gonna try to make brigades here uh, or division. Wait, hold on, I gotta hold on. Control. There we go. And then this guy. There we go. Alright, that's good. Alright, so... 7,900 men. I'm actually going to move these guys. Actually, I'm going to leave them in Richmond just in case the Federal Army comes south. Shenandoah Reserve Force is here. I have these guys still here. You guys over here. That's still good. What's going on here? The harbor's being blockaded by enemy ships. That's things I can't move these guys out. Can you attack? Yes, you can. These guys would attack. Okay, so my east my eastern thing is working out. I'm just gonna build some more troops. A little lesser quality though. Because they're expensive. I'm actually gonna build them at Petersburg. Two more brigades. Two fresh brigades I'm gonna build up here. Wise's brigade and Armistead's brigade. Fresh division. I have Knoxville force, they have three thousand men. I'm gonna go on the assault. I want you to head to Lexington. Let's get the oh dang it's, it's blockaded in this scenario. Huh. Dang, that stinks. I can't go there. So the Union can't come through there. And there's no point in doing an invasion <laughs> of Kentucky. I mean, Kentucky. Archer's Brigade. I wonder if I can make him general of this army here. Guess not. All right, so I'm actually gonna have Polk's force, which has 21,000 men. Since I really can't do anything there, I'm gonna actually have him take a railroad. Barking on the railroad. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> not sing. <laughs> okay, how long is that gonna take? Did he move? Oh, he can't reach the destination from here. Can you? Is somebody locked? No, that's kind of weird. I guess they have to wait till 35. Alright, well, whatever. Can you only start moving by... No, you can't. Dang it, man! I... Are you locked still? Yeah, he's locked. Let's see if I can just take him out. Before I do that, I want to see what's going on here. I have 
5,400 men. He has basically nothing. So you're going to go on the offensive, dude. And they basically got nothing. They got two brigades here. I still control. And then he has some troops here. So basically nothing. I'm going to have you come down here. I'll move this army this way. Yeah, there's really nothing going on down here, so might as well. This guy, I guess, since there's nothing going on, I'm gonna have him go here. Jesus, it's gonna take forever. You know what, just chill there. No, maybe hopefully we can. This region cannot be entering the snare. That's kind of weird because I played the snare before. I remember I was able to do it. It's kind of weird. Yeah. All right, well, that's kind of weird. Why can't you enter this region in this scenario? There's only two campaigns. All right, I'll go around. You know what? Use the railroad. Might as well. Okay, so it's gonna take 24 days for you to cross. That's that turn. I'm gonna have about 104 more turns, approximately. About 7,000 Richmond to kind of be there just in case the Union bypass um, Beauregard. I don't think he's going to do that though. But the AI was smart. He would try to head to Frederickstown with this army here. So this way he can. Cut Burgard off. Still keep in touch with this army here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I win? I did, but I took more losses. Dang it. Where's he attacking? What is that? Oh, crap. I wonder if... I really need to hit them hard. I can't play this softball thing, man. I, I really... I gotta hit them before December, man. Before the weather changes. I can't wait to 1862. That's gonna be too darn long. Dang it. I'm gonna move this force up here. It's not many troops. I only got, uh... 1,200 men. He has a lot more than that. Uh, anybody? Ooh, the Richmond, Virginia Reserve Forces. 6,300 men. I'm actually going to have the Carolina Department head here. Oh, they're at 20%. What is this? Oh, crap. All right, well. I wonder if that's because of Mahoney. Can you move now? Yes, 22 days. All right, I'll have this force deal with these guys here. It's not going to be a lot. It'll be 4,300 men mixed with 1,200. Should be enough, though. Four more days. I need you to be in a sole posture. Where he's going, I have no idea. But what I want to do is kind of keep him off balance. 
head to Frederickstown. I don't want to send the army too far north just in case I have to send them south to deal with this guy. I don't think I have enough forces on this. I need 100. Power 610. I can't even change the assault posture on these guys. I'll just stay in Harper's Ferry. All right, so I moved that guy. These guys won't move for a while. I guess there's too many troops to just move on their two generals. Dang it, I need more troops. Dang it. That's kind of weird that you need more generals to move. I, I guess that makes sense. That does make sense, actually. Can't have two guys on the whole army. Hey! Do what I say. Everybody. I could have sworn there was a Union Cavalry operating in this area. Well, either way, I need you to head to Rolla. Take care of this Union Brigade. 45 and 34 bits. So you're gonna deal with him. Where the heck did a Union Army go? There we go. They're running, General. They are running. And then you move here. I'm going to see if I can just move some forces. Okay. How many troops is this? 6,000 men. That's better than nothing. Let's start heading. Alright, cool. Got Tennessee State Guard there. Alright, next turn. So my right here counter 30 here, it's pretty good. I got about, uh, if it hits 100, Europe is guaranteed to come in on my side. Help me out. And if they do, it's basically the end of the war, for the Union at least, because there's no way they're going to have a two-front war, north and a south. It's impossible. They'll be invaded from Canada. Probably on the East Coast. Jeez, they just took... Oh, 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 what just happened? The Confederate defeat? Are you kidding me? A thousand men. I lost 1,300 men. It's this guy here. Dang it, man. How a superior force? What is wrong with you, dude? Oh, crap. I can't afford those losses. They just dropped some forces in the South, I saw. I can't believe he, he, he failed at that, man. 1,300 losses. There's no way I can easily replace that. About a union force there in Stanton. Oh, he's destroying the. Oh, 
crap. Bushrod's forces lost 300 men. They lost 400. Good. Where is this? Battle of Rolla. Confederate defeat lost 100 men. Great. That's great. It's not not looking good for the Confederacy in this in, in, in the beginning here. My forces are moving too slow. He just got here, and then the Union force is on the other side of the freaking Virginia. Which is not good. Oh, oh, what the heck is going on? Oh, that's the force that I sent there. Oh my gosh. I sent them unprotected. Was that the force that I sent? No, I sent the Tennessee force. McDowell had 16,000 men. He destroyed my entire militia there. Crap. All right, here we go. So you, sir, are now on the defensive. Don't even do anything. Just hold Clarksville, because, I mean, dang, dude. Dowell still has 9,800 men here. I have 22,000 men here. I should unite them and just build a massive army here. Can you go on the offensive? I just head to Winchester. 616, I guess you're gonna have to hold him. I really don't know what to do with this this force here. Maybe if I can use the railroad. Two days, 22,000 men, and then I want you to, oh, that's too long. I can take the railroad here, unite the Confederate armies, and hit the Army of the Potomac and destroy them. The only problem is, if this guy decides, hey, this is a good time to kick me in my butt, He's, he can send and try to take a couple of these cities, and the force that I have here is not going to be sufficient, I only have about 10,000 men, which is, I mean, it's better than nothing, but it's not going to be what I need. I need more leaders, man, that's what I need. This guy here with this guy. Okay, so I have fifty two hundred men. I have one hundred eighty nine power. I could definitely destroy their army, but I don't, don't think my what is that thing called? Do I have enough? It looks like I do, I just don't know why I don't turn to red. I should head to New Market. Actually, you know what? Not right now, wait for you. I shouldn't move some forces at this Norfolk garrison. I haven't doing anything. They're just sitting tight. So the big problem that I have is what do I do with these 22,000 men? Huh. So, 
when Lee invaded Gettysburg, the Union Army had to f follow him. For the reason being is to protect, to engage the Confederate Army so they don't destroy the North. I wonder if I take, can take my army and head to Baltimore, or maybe even to Harrisburg, because Harrisburg, there's basically nothing there. If I do that, I wonder if this army is going to follow me. He has a huge force. If I move north, I wonder if he's going to follow me. I could create such havoc in the north. He's not even doing anything. I have 10,000 men here, just in case. I don't think that's big, that big of a force either. I'm going to do it. I'm going to invade the north. I'm not going to cross over and just sit. I have to actually take action. So I'm going to instead of go to Baltimore, which I would like to do, but they have about eight units there. And it'll be a massive fight. I don't want to do that because he can quickly send forces. I can be overwhelmed. I want to get his army away and just destroy it somewhere around here. So I'm going to go to Gettysburg. And then once I go to Gettysburg, I'm going to start moving north to Harrisburg. Once I go to Harrisburg, I'm going to destroy this railing. Especially this one. Once I destroy this one, and actually, yeah, this one actually is pretty much the. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna head here, and then I'm gonna destroy rail. And then I'm gonna go here and destroy rail there. Basically, destroy their railing system. All right, and then these guys are gonna come down here. All right, so that's gonna be good. You, sir, are gonna gonna actually have you head up here. It's gonna take you a while to get there, but that's fine. Albert Sidney Johnston, I have him go here. Looks like everybody is already in town. Got New Madrid already. Dang, he snuck behind my back and got that Jefferson City. I wonder if I should continue. I'm actually going to have him go here. Price, I want you to come around and go back. So I'm going to have these guys head north. Actually, before they move, I want to see how many troops. Yeah, I'm going to need those leaders here. So leaders are very important in this game. <laughs> um, so while I have money now, I'm going to just do a little recruiting and I think I should get more troops for Virginia oh you know what I just realized it's so stupid of me I mean I forgot that they landed some troops I think it's in New Orleans Yeah, no, that's New Orleans. So the land of forces in here. I have a European brigade here. Okay, I'm pretty. St I'm still pretty good. Braxton Bag is here, so I'm gonna actually have him go here. Okay, so they really didn't do anything. They don't have an army running around. It's only basically four units, which are basically gonna stay in fort all the time. And not do anything, because that's the way they roll. All right, um, that's basically what I'm gonna do here. 
keep missing to select these here. So we got 50 minutes into the game, basically, here, and we're on late September. So, I mean, I, we're not flowing through the time as fast as I wanted it to, but, I, you know, I, I want to go slow a little bit, primarily because I, I need to figure out what my options are going to be. I think I have a good strategy where I'm going to go to Gettysburg, Harrisburg, destroy the railing system there. I should have done it in Frederickstown. Dang it. And that's fine. I control the cities. They're not going to be able to, they can't move anybody anyway. <clears throat> Battle roll look good. I won. He attacked my force. I lost 800. Uh, actually, I lost 1,100 men. He lost 900. I don't know how he's able to do that. I gotta replace that leader, man. He's really bad. Ready to destroy my railroad. Oh man, he's been destroying my whole railroad system in the Shenandoah Valley. Where's Fremont? Where's Fremont? Oh crap, are you serious? Oh, I sent 45 men. I didn't know he had. Dang it, that's my stupidity. Union's doing like hit and run raids. They're going into Shenandoah Valley, destroying my thing. That's fine. You know, I'm going to have him do the same thing in Maryland and Pennsylvania. They're shelling Springfield now. Man, these quick forces they have are pissing me off. Shelling Staten, too. Do I have forces in Staten? 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 Staten, I think. <laughs> Daniel Butterfield's force. Oh, did he just move forces? Oh, yeah, he did. Just a whopping amount of forces. I gotta hate. Maybe I should go for York. He moved his entire army south. Dang it. I thought he was gonna... I thought he was gonna follow me. How many forces is this? I have 13,000 men. That should be enough, I think. Thirteen thousand men. Fourteen thousand. Great. Is he serious? Two sixty one. Are you kidding me? He has a big army than me. I can't. I can't get bogged down here. I have to do an all out attack. Actually, you know what? 
I'm gonna have him come down. It's too late to have him turn around. Perhaps this wasn't a good idea. I thought he was gonna follow me, honestly. He's pillaging my army here. This is not turning out the way I, I, I expected it to. He's moving, okay, good. West will be there in five days. And you get here too. Alright, well, this is the way it is. It looks like he's going to threaten Richmond. But that's fine. I'll have this man. I have this army of fourteen thousand men, and uh, basically try to hold Richmond. In essence, while he's doing that, I'll just wreck havoc here. He, I mean, he's not gonna be able to let me just destroy all these towns in here. He basically doesn't have too many forces. I mean, I have about fourteen thousand men holding there, and he doesn't have anybody here. So he's eventually gonna have to turn around and fight me. So, dude, 7,200 men. Can you attack? I want to leave one force in Clarksville. Your job is to just stay. And whatever forces you have left over, 6,700 men. Power 94, and these guys have 199. I basically can't do anything. All right, well, this is not turning out good. Not good at all. Let's see if there's any decisions I can do. No, not gonna help me out. I have to do a draft though. Sooner rather than later. Let's see some government decisions I can do. No, I'm not gonna print paper money. Move on, build armies in Virginia. No, I'm not going to do that. I really need leaders. Ooh. Oh, crap. There's a thing here. I can enter. Yeah, I'm not going to do that because they're 47% for European intervention. That's kind of cool that um, HOD, I guess that's how you pronounce the name. HOD? I don't know. Um, they allow you to actually in intervene there. Offer a trade. To offer to foreign powers uh, various minor trade concerns that will cost us more in the future, but have immediate benefits. Cost 50,000. Morale, 25 victory points. It'll go up by three. Yeah. Eighty-one thousand dollars. This is gonna cost ten thousand five. So I'm gonna do one more turn, guys. Um, primarily because I want to see what the heck is gonna happen. I mean, I'm in really bad shape. I should have kept that force, but. I think invading the north is a good thing. Even though I, I believe it was kind of Lee was kind of it wasn't a good idea for Lee and they should have stayed on the defensive. I can understand what Lee's mentality is now. You know, the Union has so many troops and you can only defend for so long before they wither you down and eventually they're gonna have it's it's a question of numbers. Eventually they're gonna have more in the end and they're gonna win the war. So I can understand Lee's viewpoint now at Gettysburg. So, what I'm trying to do is exactly what Lee is doing. Is I'm going to try to invade the North and create so much controversy here. Hit Ham uh, Harrisburg, York, 
um, lang, um, re reading um, in Philadelphia, Trenton, Jersey City, so much so that they're going to have to send a massive army north to deal with me. When they do that, I'm hoping to send this Virginia force to D.C. and try to take them out. To mobilize some kind of force here to take out D.C. and, and, and rain havoc here. Um, and also with his army being able to uh, being able to uh, destroy the Union Army that's gone uh, that's gone out to uh, destroy it. Um, I guess one more turn. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, you take. Siege, great. See, this is where railroads come in handy because it's going to take 24 days for them to get here. Great. I'm hoping this force can help. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this turn off to the next video because I'm trying to keep them in an hour. This is going to take me to like an hour and 15 minutes. So each, of it, each part I'm going to try to keep within an hour. Um, so it's I'm going to try to keep it within... A four part series, it might lean over to five or six, depends. But it looks like I'm probably gonna lose before then. <laughs> I'm hoping to develop some more brigades, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so, this is the end of part one of this, uh, I'm gonna call it live action video. Not a, I was thinking of AAR, but there's no point of calling this an AAR because an after action report doesn't make sense because it's actually, you know, a live action report, you know. Um, I guess, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's basically the end of part one, guys. I will catch you in part two, where I'm going to continue my strategy of the invasion of the north. I'm actually going to take a nice screenshot of this. So this way I can put it on my um, middle theaters here. And western. Yeah, so I'm going to put this on my, um, do a little written one too. And basically, uh, just to give you a heads up, because uh, I know we're a little over now, but I'm going to have my forces head north, leaving a trail of destruction in the end, kind of going like this to New York. And um, try to hold here in West Virginia. I'm going to try to hold them in the Shenandoah Valley and have his force, Johnson's force, try to recover these two cities that were lost. I'm not going to enter Kentucky because that's going to really destroy my uh, chance of European intervention. I'm going to have. Oh, did I did I get there already? No, I didn't. What did they? No, they're not there yet. His force of twenty-two thousand men. I'm going to have them cross over, and I'm going to really do some havoc with this twenty-two thousand man force. I'm going to cross into Cairo, and then. I might even, I wonder if I can use a railing system. Either way, I'm going to move north, cutting off the Union eventually uh, until I hit Springfield and just basically keep heading north and try to destroy as much railroad as possible. With these forces trying to out this army here and this army that I have from here, trying to engage these two forces here. So it's not a great strategy, but it's what I got. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next video.